Ladies, can you believe this? Ladies, it's been a year. March, Next week. March 18th. It's been a year of growth, of learning, of giving, of crying, of laughing. Of not believing. Dancing and supporting <laughs> families and gratitude. Yeah. Not yes. believing that we could, could, do do could keep doing it when all of a sudden we thought we didn't have any more funds. Something came through and we would be able to buy the chicken or the eggs and chicken or the egg. You know? Which came first. <laughs> Which came first. Really, really, really. Um, we started with 13 families and uh, we have 140 families. So we started with 28 human beings and we're now up to 658 human beings. In my week. garage. Can you believe it? <laughs> on the first day I called you up. Guess what? Yeah. Anybody know when we can do some food? And I called Florencia, the community liaison from Grant, and she got people coming through the alley picking up food and then she connected with the other community liaisons. Yep. And people walking by are asking what we're doing and we help them. People search us out on Facebook. Yeah, we, we have, have different groups. Right, we, we have feeding families. And then Susie. SM with gmail.com if people need to find us. And Susie here at Hope United was gracious enough to say, you ladies need to come out of this garage and come <laughs> into the church and let's open up the gates. She and didn't so, know what she was getting into. No, but <laughs> she didn't, did she? Yeah. And got a storage or refrigerator and a freezer to yeah. store stuff. We now have a big shed. To, to store boxes that we get donated to use to help the families. Yeah. And we want to, you know, truly besides us putting this all together, we had a lot of outside resources that has helped us tremendously with food donations. And so, you know, definitely a shout out to Food Cycle LA who kind of started us all on this path back a year ago when Martina yeah. reached out to me and I shared it with Cheryl and Karen and says, what do you guys think about this? And then Glenn at World Harvest has been graciously giving to us as well when we go down there every other Saturday and pick up food. And Herb Wesson, when he was up and running, we were getting yeah. donations from his organization. And now I'm connected with Pico Union Project. Yeah. Every Friday morning, I'm there. And Barbara. And Barbara from St. Latter-day's. I go there once a month. So it's been I go too, except right now. She's my co-pilot's not. <laughs> I can't. But, but also the community. Yeah. The commu yeah, community. I can't stress enough. Sometimes when we had a nervous Ooh. moment and I put something up on Facebook saying we need yeah. rice and beans, can you go through your pantry? Can we did a five by five, get five friends to donate five items. Um, we've we've been creative over this year and we still need to get creative. So. And another uh, great contributor is the Tyler Skaggs Foundation. Yes, Help us for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. They yeah. help us feed over 100 families. They that donated all the food for us to donate and help hand out yeah. foods from Times Square Foundation. And Santa Monica City College, too. Santa Monica well. City College. Yeah. Busy. So yeah. we've had a wonderful the community. community. Community, great. People donating, sending donations, all of still do need funds coming in on a regular basis to counteract and balance out the food that I go out and purchase on Fridays and Saturdays. Like our, uh, for instance, like our eggs. You know, <laughs> our we chicken. Get, we don't get that donated then I have to purchase that. So with the money that is raised and that's been given to us, we thank you everyone that's helped us and we continue to ask for yeah. support and help. <laughs> hey, I'm Florencia Rams. I'm uh, the community liaison of Grant Elementary School and Franklin Elementary School. And I met these three angels, I call them Angel, Karen, Cheryl, and Marie. And I'm so proud, I'm very lucky that I can help in feeding families every Saturday. I remember a year ago, we started only with 10 families from Grant. And then I reached out to my co-workers, Nancy Gutierrez and Elena Alianzas from New York and Jams. And now we have every, uh, Saturday around 130, we can say 150 families. So I'm very proud and lucky that I can help the community and it's a wonderful place. I love to come here today. My husband is here, sometimes my kids are here. So it is, a, I don't know, I'm, I'm lucky. That's the word I'm looking for. So I've been volunteering with Feeding Families for about the whole year now and it has been so gratifying the impact that we have made on our neighbors right here in Santa Monica. I heard from someone, a family, down the street from me who needed 
our box, a box delivered to them because they are food insecure and the two kids get free breakfast and lunch at their Santa Monica Public School, but they don't get a lot of fresh produce. So we put this family on the list and I delivered the box to this family and every week they write to me. Um, the mom says, I really cannot tell you how much my family and I appreciate you delivering such a nice variety of healthy food to us. With me being disabled on home care, my husband is older with, other, with lots of health issues. Shopping can be challenging for a number of reasons. Your kindness in delivering food from this program has eased the burden and risk on me, my husband, and the kids. And then she goes on to mention specific items from her box that one of her kids really liked or her husband liked and it has made a difference in this family's life. And you can imagine times 150 plus boxes that we do every week, how many people we are helping is just a wonderful thing. And we are using food that might otherwise gone to waste. So everybody wins at Feeding Families.